Oh goodness. Well, good evening. I didn't see you there. Welcome to the Captain's Do Nothing Blog Film Reviews. This is also going to be the first episode of a sub-series I'm calling How I Know That I'm Getting Old. Tonight's feature shall be the modern horror classic Krampus. Or as I will forever remember it. Oh my god, this is so fucking creepy. Krampus. Krampus is a film about a little boy who makes a negative Christmas wish about his family and is punished by the spiritual being Krampus, who is a creature uh, from German folklore who punishes naughty children on uh, Christmas Eve night. <clears throat> Krampus comes and attacks the little boy's family, picking them off one by one slasher style. Characters in this film are all quite interesting. You have a uh, well-to-do family, um, and then there is something of a f feels like a callback to Lampoon's uh, Christmas Vacation, their uh, redneck cousins, and you can tell right away that there's a lot of tension in the family, a lot of hurt feelings, a lot of people that don't get along, um, and it all kind of leads to uh, the little boy's breakdown when he makes his negative Christmas wish. You're supposed to hate these characters as people in slasher films? You're supposed to dislike them, so when they get their uh, comeuppance from whatever slasher villain of the week is uh, up to bat, you don't feel bad, but it was very strange. There was plenty of reasons to hate the family, but they were addressing them as the film went on. It's weird to make a feel-good family Christmas film at the same time as you're setting up a family to get picked off one by one by a supernatural being. The effects in this feature were outstanding. I mean, it's obviously just a horror film, so it's not like a, a titanic budget or anything, but excellent mix of visual effects and practical effects. Computer graphics laid on to actual puppets. The people were wrestling with actual puppets instead of uh, just some kind of CG mob, uh, Circa the Things prequel, which was all really cool and really fun. And it's something you don't see that often. There was a lot of love and a lot of care into this film. And it was, uh, it was, it was actually, it was quite a treat to watch. Um, <clears throat> the film was uh, made by the same gentleman that made another great holiday classic, uh, Trick or Treat. And it's in that same vein, miss, uh, minus the anthology. And there's a lot of really, um, really blatant social commentary that comes up. It's really funny. There's a lot of jives about American gun culture, Black Friday, they're all pretty funny. Um, and you know a lot of you know the kills aren't creative, but the way but the creatures are. It's definitely a creature feature. It's really really fun to watch for the uh, practical effects and the pop wrestling and everything else that was going on in the film. Um, <clears throat> however, I had the film slightly ruined for me by a group of chatty teenagers. I was 17 once and thought I was also bulletproof and that uh, all these grumpy old folks at the theater could just put up with me and my friends giggling like assistant children at the theater. It's a scary movie, you gotta whisper, you gotta scream, that's fine, that's the point of the thing. But holy shit, girls, I don't need a semi-constant reminder from you that that's a super creepy. Yes, I can see that. Oh my god, don't go in there. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you honestly saying that in the middle of a crowded movie theater? You're having an open discussion. I kind of grunted and threw some shade. They clapped at me. Oh, yeah, good job. You're a hero for the theater. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? You're in a crowded theater and you're gonna run your mouth. Have some respect for the people around you. I mean, I understand. That you're with your friends, it's a social event, you wanna have fun, you wanna whisper, you sat in the back of the theater for that exact reason. But when the theater fills up, and there's people in the back as well, keep it down, scream, whisper, get scared, have fun. But holy sh I didn't pay 20 bucks for a running commentary about how creepy the movie was. I know it's creepy, that's why we're here, it's fun. Stop talking about it. But then again, I think I'm just becoming uh, an old man and I don't understand the youth of the day. So, Krampus, 
You're the kind of person that requires some kind of arbitrary rating system in order to uh, judge how you go and see a film. Stop that. It's not subjective and kind of silly. It's a nice horror-based uh, Christmas film. It's definitely the best Christmas horror film that's ever been. I know a lot of people talk about Black Christmas. Uh, this movie makes Black Christmas look sad. It honestly made a decent attempt at Christmas horror just like Halloween, or pardon me, Trick or Treat was an excellent Halloween horror film. Um, so, give it, a, give it a go. If not, um, just for the effects, this is it. the characters are fun little caricatures and this is not as many setups or uh, payoffs as you'd think, but there's definitely, um, it's not bad. It gets where it needs to go and it's fun while you're doing it. And if nothing, sit through the first act, slog to get to the second act where the puppets start showing up and then it'll be well then, you know, more than worth your price of admission. So, may your viewing experiences be plentiful, pleasant, and absent of obnoxious teenagers. All the best.